Aloha guys, I'm Spice, and today I'm going to step out of my usual with my show and my, my topics uh, generally on uh, health, healing, and natural medicines. As you can see, I'm a medicine man, um, a psychic, and a healer, and a shaman, but today I'm going to reach out because of my experience with Harley-Davidson, a not good experience with Harley-Davidson. I had a seven-year warranty. They didn't honor. I went back and forth with the insurance company under the warranty, and they're saying yes, and then no, and it was just pulling teeth, and nothing happened. So I'm taking it into my own hands, and I went through a couple videos to kind of figure out some things with my bike, and there were some things that I felt was kind of vague. So basically, guys, I'm making this video for you guys to totally stoke you out on basically replacing a fuel system in your tank. My bike is a 2011 48 Sportster Harley-Davidson. I hope you get something out of it. I am in no way a mechanic or claiming to be captain bike mechanic, but I have the mentality if they can do it, so can you. So what I'm gonna do today is give you guys a tutorial and instructions on what I did, and I hope it totally soaks you guys out and you get something out of this with a bunch of little tricks that I did that uh, are very helpful tips as well as just the, the basic instructions on what I did for basically taking the tank off, cleaning it, and maybe checking fuses as well as installing or removing the, the fuel pump system and then replacing the fuel filter as well as a fuel pump and so and then installing it back. So cool, man. I'm stoked to show you guys what I did, and I hope you get something out of it. Like I said, I'm not here to prove anything. I'm not a mechanic or, or legit registered motorcycle mechanic, but I just went for it because one, Harley didn't honor a very expensive seven-year warranty. Pretty lame in my book. Two, the pump is... It's definitely three hundred, possibly four hundred dollars through Harley Davidson. The filter is a hundred and something, um, and so I've got a really good one off of eBay. I kind of did my research. There was some cheaper ones, but I went for one because of the PSI's. PSI's is the amount of pressure that it's pumping fuel, and this one had a higher PSI. So yeah, I ended up spending a little more for a pump that was higher in PSI's. I ended up paying around 60 to 70 bucks for that's in shipping and everything. And then the fuel filter was about $40, I think shipping as well. So basically guys, something that would have been three to 400 for the pump, another 100, 120 plus for a filter, and then a couple hundred bucks for labor, I saved some money and I'm hoping I rub off on you guys and save you guys some money with this with this video. You're going to be stoked and it's very basic, very simple, very easy to understand and I hope you like it. If you're stoked, I've got, I'll leave in the link below, you can go to my PayPal if you want to donate, but I'd rather you donate to yourself. I've got epic products, herbal products on my website, islandspicehawaii.com. Feel free to watch my show if you're into natural healing, if you're into surfing, spearfishing, snowboarding, or bow hunting, because I have a show, Talk Story with Spice, that has epic special guests and lots of things that I'll be teaching and educating you on in the field of natural healing, as well as the other topics, surfing, spearfishing, snowboarding, and bow hunting, because they are a huge part of my life. And you can follow me on Island Spice Hawaii on Instagram and Facebook and it'll let you know when new videos are coming up with my main show. So here we go guys, uh, tune in and check it out. Here's your video, let's do this. So guys remember, before you go through the trouble and the whole process to take the tank off, um, turn the key on and right before you do that, put your ear up against a tank, maybe even take the gas cap off, and you're looking for that little quick hum sound. That's the pump kicking on. So if you don't hear that, most likely it's a pump. It could be a fuse. So you want to check your fuses. Anything that goes before 
pump, give it a little uh, check. Yeah, turn the key on and check the pump. And if you don't hear that little winding sound, then most likely it could be the pump that's gone bad in the bike. Guys, I highly recommend, like once your tank is off, to wrap it up in a towel, some kind of foam, um, just wrap it and then maybe tighten it with like masking tape or whatever. You can cut a hole out for the gas tank. Um, basically, just to prevent scratches because it's really easy for scratches and, and anything to happen to your tank. Like it happens like that super quick. Um, something can fall, you can just move something, it hits something and your beautiful tank that's all nice and shiny and clean gets scratched all the way down to the tank where you get rust coming from it. Yeah, so that's just words of love and wisdom. So once that tank is off, um, I didn't and I should have and I um, got repercussions from it. I did get a scratch on my tank. I'm not stoked about it. I'm going to probably have to try and buff it out and hope that it comes out. So be sure and wrap that rascal. Get that tank wrapped up. Like I said, foam, thick towel, something, and you can cut holes where the plate is for the fuel system and a hole for uh, where the gas cap is, and you'll be, you should be fine. So it's just, uh, it, it's just a, a suggestion. So, yep, towels and wrap that thing with tape, and, um, and then start the cleaning process, and uh, then change out your system, your fuel system. So, okay, thanks. Okay guys, super simple to get the tank off. You got here in the front of the tank, you got this here, that's an Allen wrench. This is an Allen wrench right here on the front. The other is up behind on the seat. It's right there, you can probably see it tucked away. On the other side here, you just got a bolt. So you're gonna be using that Allen wrench and that bolt, a wrench with the Allen wrench together to get it off. and then. He's all hidden up under there under that seat too. You can see that. So once those two are off and the pins are pulled, this tank's ready to come off after the hookups. So, okay, to take the seat off, it's just one screw, guys. You literally just take this out. ABC one, two, three. And you want to do this before you take the tank off. And then what you're going to do is you're going to push forward. And then pull up. It's got like a, a peg that comes up kind of in the shape of a mushroom. And you got to find your way off, kind of toy with it, and just pull up. And it pops just like that. And then in the front here, it just slides right out. There's your seat off. No problem. And then from there, you do this bolt and your front bolt and your tank's ready to come off after you disconnect it that tank's ready to come off taking this off you just push up pull this down disconnect it you will get a little bit of gas nothing to go crying home to mommy about pulling this right out it's nothing just pulls right off uh, when you're ready to disconnect from the bike okay guys so to disconnect your electric Right here is the wire that feeds your fuel pump and, and fires that thing up. You just follow that and it goes all the way here to the back of the engine and then it's right here behind this little plastic housing and pushed in. So you can just pull it, bring it around and there it is right there. That's, that's what feeds your electric to the tank and then you're going to grab it with both hands and disconnect it. So make sure instead of grabbing by the wiring but you grab both pieces and then you'll just uh, there's a little there's a little clip right here you push it in and that thing will come right out and you just pull it apart and you're good to go and so you just pull just like that guys and so when you go to hook the bike back up same thing just slide it right back in fit and wait to hear it click there's the click and then you're gonna go and tuck it right back underneath here and then it's got a little place for the wiring mold right here to set it into place and you're good to go and then now all we have is electrical and you know they say disconnect the battery when you're doing this but when this is unplugged there's no electric going in and then I don't have the key on as well okay guys 
before you actually go to the extent of taking your tank off and doing the fuel pump thing, maybe check before and troubleshoot. There could be some fuses blown. So I'm going to show you real quick what I did. I got this little thing here. I'm sure plenty of you know what it is. And, you know, you put on your negative uh, side of your battery, this clip here, and then you touch on the, uh, the, <clears throat> the fuses. And if they light up, you're good to go. So uh, let's do that real quick. As kind of a thorough check through prior to even going to take the tank off so and, and the fuel pump. So I'm going to kind of do that real quick. So before we, in doing that on my 48, I know there's 883s that are similar and other sportsters. So you've got here on the left side, just pops out super easy. See your battery here. Just but right here, you've got a little fuse box. And basically, you just pull and it comes right off. Like such. And I just laid that right there. Then I'm going to take the clip, the gator clip right here. And you don't have to. I mean, you can. You can put it. You can gator clip it. But you just need a, a touch. A, a touch on the negative is what I've done. So as long as you're touching that negative terminal with the metal. As long as you're touching that negative terminal, I went through, you can pull the whole battery out if you want, if you want to go that extent, but I didn't. And then right here, we've got our batteries. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, we've got our fuses here. And so you just touch on the top. And when you touch on the top, you'll be looking for a light. Okay, so before, you know, make sure you've got a good connection here with this uh, negative terminal and then your pin. And then you got to make sure that you turn your bike on, turn your key on, so that you have power running through the bike. And then, So that you've got right here, you can see the one I'm touching right now. This one by itself. It's not like what I would call on the board. Let me move this cable out of the way. That one is just, it's an extra. So what you're going to be wanting to do is hold. So if you look right here, my light comes up when I touch that one. All right, so that one's that one's good. This one here, so lights on, lights on, um, lights on, lights on. Okay, and lights on. So these fuses are good. Okay, guys, so we've gone through the end here. That's our ignition fuse. Then we've got for our lights is the next one. And this is accessory, probably blinkers and, and um, lights coming up on the front, as well as probably uh, the odometer. And then we've got our battery fuse, and then the ECM. So, the so these fuses here, uh, these little square fuses here, are the start relay, which is the first one, and the one in the back here, that's the system relay. Uh, to get those off, all I did was take my light pin and just lift up and try and get up under it and lift it as you can see we're getting up under pull that off and give that a grab now you can sand that make sure they look pretty good they could use a little bit of sanding hopefully that is not the problem it is the fuel pump and then you'll see those four prongs. You're going to want to touch the one in the back to make sure it's good on the board. So if I can get in here. All right, lights on. So I touched that back one right here. And uh, it's good because the others you touch, there's no electric, but that feeds the, the rest of this entire fuse. It feeds the entire relay fuse here. So that's good to go. And then I did check the other, so those are all good. Everything on the board is good. Hopefully, one of these relays aren't good, and it, it most definitely is the fuel pump is what my fingers are crossed. It would be easier to change these fuses, though. They're only like 15 bucks. So, okay, I've gone ahead, and I'm checking the board, making sure it's good underneath the system relay here. And look at that. We got light. So we're good. Like I said, I hope that... 
it's the fuel pump we're going to be replacing I'm going to show you how to do that whole deal and once we get that said and done replace it we're going to fire this bike up so the board for the fuses are good so that's a bonus um, at least we know but it's good to check that prior to even dealing with the tank dealing with the fuel system because it could just be a simple fuse creating your problems so all right so on to the next part of uh, changing this thing out changing up this fuel pump okay closing this up we went through the uh, the process of kind of process of elimination before going to the extent of taking the pump off so that's that's a step so put your cover back on we're good to go here okay so that covers on and then you've got two clips on your side cover here right here and right here where I've got my fender and it goes in and so it's the side of the bike so that's on we're good to go so now we're gonna go check out or replacing the fuel filter we're gonna replace the fuel filter and the fuel pump so let's do it So yesterday I put in apple cider vinegar and simple green and isopropyl alcohol and look what happens. It pulled out all the corrosion, all the dirt. I'm going to dump it, clean it again and uh, crazy. Get this bike rolling. Okay guys, take note. So when I clean the tank, uh, I show the solution I used with cider vinegar, white vinegar, simple green. OxyClean and I used isopropyl alcohol. You could use vodka instead. Most people probably want to drink it. So I left the plate on the bottom that holds on uh, right here that holds on the fuel system that's up inside the tank when I first cleaned. All I did is, is I took the gas cap off and I put those solutions in there. I let it sit for two, three days. I switched it around a couple times a day and then I cleaned it out that way and then once that was done I replaced the gas cap then I took off the plate which you'll see in the video how to do where the fuel filter fuel pump the whole fuel system is and so I kept it up, upside down I kept it upside down so that I did the exact same solution and a couple days shake it up and then clean it out that way as well so that you're you know getting as much as you can out of the tank and cleaning it. You'll see I even use a scrub brush that I created with chopsticks and a paper towel. And then uh, I also, just to let you know, and you can do this, look inside the tank with a flashlight. If you see any rust, just get some type of rust solvent, rust spray, spray in, see if you can't reach that and just let it sit for you know a few hours to a day and then put your solution in and start your cleaning process or you change the pump out. So, okay guys, I hope that tip helps, and on to the next, All right? Aloha. Okay guys, the tank is off the bike, and this is what we're up against. So, we've got five of these, size, I think, 25 star bolts. It's basically like an Allen wrench, but star shape, and they are not on super nuts tight so they're just nice and turned hand turned and I suggest when you put them back on that you hand turn and you don't try and torque them really hard just nice and once they're getting snug then leave them be when you're putting them back on when you're taking this out take your time you're gonna pull up you're gonna have fuel filter here uh, actually that yeah the fuel filter I think this side and then on this side is the fuel pump and then inside, in the middle, is like a, a float regulator. I think it, it keeps up with the gas amount, and it floats and goes up and down as the gas drops and stuff like that. So it knows when to run out of gas and uh, when you need to fill up the tank. So when you're pulling this whole unit out, basically, guys, take your time. 
Nestlet, you might have to do some turns and stuff, and then you'll see that middle white fuel indicator, the thing I was talking about. You'll find that fuel regulator that measures the gas coming, and you may have to stick your thumb in there and just kind of push it out of the way and then lift the whole thing out, and you'll have your whole entire system, fuel pump, fuel filter, everything. And then we'll go into replacing the fuel filter and the pump so okay yeah guys okay guys so what I did here this is for cleaning the ticks this, these are just little wooden chopsticks that you get wherever grocery store if we're buying poke to eat you can get wooden chopsticks anywhere and so I wrapped up I just took a, a paper towel and I folded it up all right and then from there I just open it up like that Put it inside here, wrapped it, and then basically wrapped around, gave it some a fold, um, and then just twisted it up like so, right? And then I took a piece of tape and basically just taped this thing on here. All right, and so it gives me something that is like a scrub brush that I can go in and, and wash all that corrosion off the inside of the tank. Yeah, just for when I put the fuel system back together with the fuel pump, fuel filter, and the tank. Just try and get it as clean as possible so that there's no more junk inside that can cause this to happen again. So anything you can do to prevent any of that. Because, you know, you get corrosion through condensation um, if your tank's just sitting. And so, like I said, I... Um, you know, what I did is I, I used apple cider vinegar with simple green, a uh, little bit of OxyClean, and some isopropyl alcohol. I don't even know what proportions I used of what, but um, mostly uh, mostly cider vinegar. And this is like $2.50 $2 a bottle. You know, an X amount of sprays of simple green, a couple of little bits of OxyClean. And so let it sit, swish it around a couple times a day, and then... Um, yeah, just shine a flashlight in that tank, and you'll see where I get the corrosion and, and clean it out more. And then after that, I'll spray it out, and then I'll put it in the sun with the bottom open where the fuel pump system goes in, and leave the cap off so that the sun heats the tank up and completely evaporates any water out of the tank. And when you do your last cleaning, you know, it's, it's okay probably to use the hose, and soap in that, but once you really start seeing no more suds and water, then I would get distilled water or you know a purified water and put that in the tank and swish it around so that there's no you know it, you'd be baffled at what is in the water that comes out of your sink. So you know, once that's out, then do the swish around with good, just clean, distilled, steamed water, and um, yeah, and then we'll we'll put the pump in and I'll show you that. So cool. dumped it out with all the apple cider vinegar and now I'm just spraying it out trying to get it clean of uh, anything and see how it's, it's kind of soaping up here and I'm just gonna keep doing this so it's just all water and there's still a lot of stuff coming out guys remember when you are working on your tank and if you know Depending on the person, some of you don't give a shit about paint marks, stuff like that, but if you really want it nice, clean, and shiny, you got to be so careful not to scratch the tank. And you want to put stuff in there. Wow, something crazy just came out. You might even want to wrap it in a towel all the time just to keep any scratches or nicks from happening. So, uh, yeah. And then once I said, we'll get this clean, um, completely clean, I'll put a distilled water in here, swish it around, make sure I get everything out. And then from there, uh, we'll start putting back in the fuel pump assembly and the filter and all that, just basically the fuel system. So once I get that ready to go and hooked up, I'll be sure to share that part of the video with you. So lots of stuff still coming out. 
So, okay guys, thanks. Here you go. This is your fuel pump, right? And right here you'll see there's what they call, I call it a sock, just from having to take tanks off of cars. And they call it a screen. It'll pop in. I'll show you how to replace that. And then it was folded. I basically just have remnants of, of uh, the sock. It was kind of just basically deteriorated, just gone. So what I'm thinking happened is the sock just gooed up as well as maybe oil gas and just whatever the tank, if you sometimes can get rust from condensation that happens naturally in the tank and went in and clogged up my pump. That's all that I can think with hopes that when I do replace it, it's going to start right up. I'm going to show you how to take that off. And here inside this, you have your fuel filter inside this housing. So you pop this clip off right here, which I'll show you how to do. And then this is a gasket, super important. My fuel pump came with a new one. I think I could use this one again, but hey, I've got a new one, so why not? So I highly suggest, guys, that you take photos when you do take it out of the tank and take photos where everything's at because I did have a zip tie that was here and it just deteriorated, but I could tell that it was there. And then we've got this clamp here that you can do. And you've got this clamp, you've got another zip tie. And so, and up top here, you've got, I think it's the regulator is what this is called. And so, and this I would call or know it as the float, okay? I think that measures your level of gas when it's in the tank and obviously you're low if it goes below that. So hopefully this thing's working good because I did not buy another one to replace that. I basically replaced the fuel filter, assuming that it got gummed up, so it's just time to replace it. And so you can manhandle these things. When you when I first started to kind of go over this and toy with it and get it out of the tank, you know, you want to be really cautious because you think you're gonna break things, but they handle. And so I'm gonna show you the new fuel pump and what that's all about and pulling this whole system off and replacing it as well as popping this clip pulling out the old fuel filter because you might as well you're doing it you're taking the tank off I mean you're taking this off the tank you took your tank off the bike to do this and it's just I think key another thing that's really important guys that I do as you can see this is part of the electrical system of the bike so what I do is I just cut up a plastic bag and then I wrap it with tape and the reason I do that is let's say you can't work on it right now right then and make this happen you never know you can get dust in here I um, in any of them there's there's a few on the bike as well that you have to take off and so what I do is I just take a plastic bag I cut like a square I wrap it over this and then I wrap just masking tape real tight so it stays on and so I've done that and I highly suggest it I lived out in the country for a long time and we had propane tanks and you leave those things open sometimes bugs crawl in there and clog them up and you're wondering why you can't take a hot shower or why your why your uh, stove isn't coming on so that you can cook just a, a positive little tip I hope it works for you so okay we're gonna start taking this thing apart and replacing what we need to and then we'll start getting it back in the tank I'll have some other tips for you just take note that when you are actually pulling this whole system out of your motorcycle it's not as easy it doesn't just go pull and pop right out okay I had to kinda of put my thumb in here and and just kinda of take your time pulling it out when you're pulling it out of the tank and so I have a feeling it's gonna be the exact same thing putting it in so you just take your time getting it back in you can obviously match the shape that it's gonna go and um, yeah so okay let's start replacing everything okay guys so we're gonna start with the fuel filter and right here this clamp it's pretty easy it's it sets in like this and all you gotta do is just kinda bend it outward get it over that pops right off and you've got two sides to it and it's pretty easy to remember because you've got one two three so you just want to your side here You've got one, your middle center, 
and then you're back and so pop that off and then just grab that thing and take your time pull it off and there is our fuel filter okay so inside inside that housing there is our fuel filter so my best advice when you when you're going for this thing use super thin needle nose pliers and instead of just trying to pull it out like that give it a twist and there we go there's our fuel filter right here all right so here's the new one so you can see the difference all right so I'm gonna pop this back in get that nice and set um, let me see something here I did see a hole so alright it's good to go um, push that in and then uh, I'm assuming right here is a little rubber gasket that's going to need to be replaced and so we're going to just pop that on same gasket and then fuel filter is on you want to line up your grooves with it is what you want to do okay I am on Let's see here. Okay, there's the old one. Um, it looks reusable. Could be, could be. So we're just going to replace our clip here. Make sure that's on. Remember to stretch it over both sides. And once you get your clip, make sure you pull it all the way over the end. And then we've got the other here. Let's wrap it over. And so like I said, you know, you can be strong with it. Come on, buddy. Alright, so we are here. That one's clipped in on that side. And then, boom. So that's clipped on that side, clipped on that side. This thing is snug. Snug, it's in there. Okay, it's fuel pump time, guys. So, this loop came off, and what this, this does is it holds your fuel pump in. Okay, it's, um, and all you got to do is you just stretch it out, and it removes. And I, I came with a new one with my, so see how it comes off like this? And like I said, guys, take photos when you're doing this stuff so that you can keep mental pictures of what's going on. This is just a rubber jacket that probably allows it to be strapped on, kind of a protector. So I'm going to take this off, and basically, dude, it just comes right out. You'll see when I go to plug in the new screen for the new pump. All right, so I'm going to recycle this. And then here's my old pump. Unplug here. That comes out. Make sure that's plugged in really good when you go to replace it. And then basically, I'm going to go ahead and undo this hose. I may cut it with a razor blade because I have a new hose to go with it. So um, let me get this taken care of. And there's our old fuel filter right here. Said and done. So the bike should be running better just with that alone. So as you can see, that's unplugged and then we've got strap holding everything together done with that there and then basically guys I've got to separate this from this and I think all I'm going to do is take a razor blade or a cut and disassemble it here or not disassemble it but basically cut this hose off so that I can get the new one on because the kit that I got comes with a new hose instead of recycling and it's just going to be easier to take it off. So, boom, there we go, guys. We have our old fuel pump, all right? 
And this is tough to get off. The new one comes with the uh, little uh, screw clamps that I like a lot better because I don't have the pinching pliers that do this type of clamp right here. So I'll show you. Here's my new pump. So here's a new pump right here. Super stoked. Pray this baby works. And then uh, it comes with little caps just to cap off. So this is where your the screen they call it. I call it the sock just from uh, working on a few cars in my lifetime. That I pulled off and, and that was what was corroded. So what kind of happens is fuel feeds into here, goes through, comes through that pipe that was there, goes through the fuel filter and then feeds into uh, your motor. So now it's time to replace everything. So I am super stoked. So here's my hose. I'm going to go ahead and get my clamps, get those all um, kind of geared up and ready. So there's one clamp. We're going to put this hose on, make sure it's on nice and firm all the way down as far as I can get it. All right. And then I got a clamp here. Let's go ahead and clamp that baby on. And I got a little screwdriver. So really quick just tighten that thing up man so it's nice and snug and holding that pipe on because it's going to be shooting fuel and so there we go it's uh it's on there and i might bring it down a little bit um i hope you guys are stoked it's making it simple for you because it's kind of what i needed but i figured it out myself yeah, so here we go. All the way at the base. I think that's probably the best thing to do. There was not a clamp on the other end of the hose, but I'm going for it. You know, it comes with one, so just do it. And then let's see here. This is going to go in the sleeve like so. We've also, so when we got the sleeve, we're going to put back on. And then we've got the sock. So see this, I, I would just call it the rib or the bone. Um, that was all that was basically remaining of mine. And then this is just going to pop right on. You just insert it and you're good to go. Got two to choose from. One came with my new filter that I bought and the other came with the pump. Let's see, what do you think, guys? Same, same. I kind of want to know who might last longer. This one's feeling pretty strong. So I think I'm going to go with this guy in my left hand. And so what you're going to do is uh, you'll see right here what I'm doing is just right, just go and plug it in. And that's going to be sucking fuel through this sock, through this screen. And then the screen, you're going to want to tape it down. All right, or not tape it down. There's you come with ties, twist ties, and all. And what this clamp does, basically, guys, is it. Okay, we're gonna fit this on. Let me see here. Okay, fits perfectly, just like so. But I want to make sure that this cap and this thing is on perfect before I go because it looks like it just came off super easy and there's also now I'm noticing if you'll see there's like a plug that that needs to go in so it fits perfectly into both and there's probably a snap there hear that, hear that snap there's a snap there's like a, a, a little stem that comes out and and right there that's where that stem goes and then this is where that fits all right, so then we're going to bend that screen up just like that, and we're going to wrap this thing, okay? And it's going to get attached back to this frame right here where this goes to. And it just fits perfectly like this, and then we're going to we're going to plug this back in. Click. We got a click there, so we are solid. We are good to go. And actually, I don't know if I should have done that first. I might have to just pull this out. Yeah, I can do it this way. So I've got these right here. 
and this is what this is all about is just getting this clamp over the metal jacket all right so right here see that metal jacket this is what you want I'm gonna bring this down hold this thing into place basically what we're gonna do is it's this is made to clamp the whole thing together the rubber sleeve and the pump together okay so that system's on make sure right there as you can see that that is flush and popped into that and not falling out and there's our screen it's on I'm gonna put as you can see there's one two straps that it came with I'm gonna strap those on so this thing is nice and snug onto the fuel system kind of harness thing here and then we're gonna pop this hose on let's grab our other piece here and I'm gonna put this on I want to show you what I got going here the fuel pump what's going on is this this uh, tube right here this tube that feeds from the pump through the filter that, to, that feeds that eventually goes into the bike into the engine it's a little long so it's creating not a very flush fit but I dealt with it and what I'm highly highly going to recommend is I slid the clip up from the back I've got this tightened and then I ran two straps so instead of putting your filter behind this go ahead and strap it here so that these uh, zip ties that came with the kit are on here and that way this thing is on and put it up here not too too tight probably just enough to hold it into place and then uh, I'm gonna give that a cut and then I got one more here ready to go on so this way you're not putting too much pressure on that sock because um, I think it's if you if you're really tightening down from the bottom it's going to strip out so you're just watching it get tight right here Probably a little more um, you just got to make sure it's it's you know going through that bike so the strainer goes pulls the gas in goes to the pump and then comes around so it's pretty snug and then I've got room this thing's the floats going no problem I'm going to put a smaller zip tie around these and this thing's ready to go into the bike so all good here and then I've got my fuel pump or fuel filter housing good to go with a new fuel filter pretty stoked on that and then a new fuel pump like I said this is a little long I had to put a little razor cut right here I had to put a I had to put a little razor cut right here just so I could get this hose to go on. I wish this thing was shorter. It's kind of a pain to get on and and as you can see it's not allowing the fuel filter to really fit properly in its frame, but you know, it is what it is. So, and then I've got the screw turns on these. These are nice and tight. And so we're good to go. We are ready to go back in the bike. I'm going to go ahead and clip this. yeah and so make sure your clips good here um, your sock once again make sure it's got that snug fit there's a post that comes down behind this and there's a, a hole to push that in as well as this to get flush it's kinda like fitting in a cap this one looks like it needs both of them can use a little bit more tightening and keep them on and uh, grab here so cool guys we are good to go fuel pump has been replaced socks here um, I just got to put a little twist tie here which I'm about to do the housing for the fuel filter is there this clip is on 
and it's a go. So we'll start working on that and make that happen. So, okay. Okay, and one more thing, guys. Double check, triple check. Make sure this is plugged in and nice and snug because this is how electricity gets to the pump to fire that bike up. And then when you tighten, I put a clip here. I put a little twist tie, draw tie here. Make sure you've got room in between so this doesn't get trapped on something and it gets full float. All right? And so, okay. Here we go, putting this in the tank. Also, guys, we've got this gasket here. I'm basically pulling it out and replacing it. Reason you're replacing it is just because, you know, gaskets, they just get hard over time and old. And then um, I probably should have put it in prior to doing the pump. But, hey, I'll get this in there. I'll figure it out. There we go, no problem. But you can see it's old, and it, it, when you feel it compared to the new one, it's got some age on it, and so at some point it, it could work right now, but at some point it probably is going to just rot and disintegrate because gasoline does that stuff. Um, and you also see right here there's a groove. So that groove goes side down into the plate where everything is attached and so i'm going to grab the new one get that uh on here before we go into the bike okay pretty simple pretty self-explanatory here's the groove i was talking about on the new one i like the green better the green is a little nicer looking but i'm going to get this in place um hopefully get you up under here and into your mount i may have to take it out and that would suck so it's fitting everywhere else but we'll get it in here there we go so it's going into place this gasket seems a little thinner but maybe it swells up from the gas and all that there we go I got it nice and snug under just take your thumbnail and, and go around and make sure it's really into place here. And so right here, this looks a little far up, so we're good, guys. Gaskets replaced, fuel pumps replaced, fuel filters replaced. I am hoping that this bike starts up and smiles and revs and sounds all sexy like normal uh, when that thing's fired up. So, okay, here we go. End of the tank we go. Complete system. Okay, guys, so I still got my uh, 25, I think it's just a star bolt in here that holds the plate. And we're going to get this plate and fuel system back in the tank. Looks like we need this right here is uh, the fuel overflow line. Okay, let's get this thing in. All right, so here we go. We've got the whole system, pump, filter it all, everything wired together properly. Something I think you just gotta go slow with. Something you gotta go slow with, take your time. And uh, let's see what's going on here. Um, yeah, guys, it's, it's not as easy as you want or as you think. We have some non-cooperation, but I've seen the problem possibly. I said this hose is not easy. Okay, we're back out. It looks like my clamp here needs to get opened up and moved around. So I'm going to shift it and make sure this is on the inside so that it's not hitting the edges of the gas tank. Okay guys, I just had to shift around a couple things. Things rubbing, trying to get into the tank. 
twist ties are struggling to get in properly. I might have to use a screwdriver to get them in. Okay, the twist ties are uh, for holding on to the screen. Okay, guys, words of wisdom and experience. I have got the twist ties that I wrapped around the fuel pump to hold the fuel uh, screen or the sock on. And they were fixed. It was making a really big struggle to get in the tank. So, words of wisdom, use the tiniest, skinniest ones you can. I'm sure they'll be fine. And so now we can finally get this thing into the tank. And, um, yeah, start locking these bolts on and get this uh, whole set up gas can tank and all back on the bike yeah definite different with this the skinnier uh and you can kind of guide them in with the screw flathead screwdriver seems to work pretty good okay this is all ready to go okay guys we are good to go Finally got it all set and lined up to go into the tank. And now it's time to get these in. And when you put these in and actually take them out, remember to kind of just feel their tightness. It didn't feel like they were super just really torqued in. They were just nice and snug tight. Um, probably. And another thing I had to do is that clip on the filter. That had to be turned around so that I could get the whole system into the tank. And so I do remember counting that it was 20, I think 25 turns. Okay, I'll get these in guys and then we'll go over putting it back on the bike and then get this thing cranked up. Okay guys, here we go. It's time to get the tank back on. So let's do it. All right, so I've got the tank, just getting it uh, set where the pins can go in and start putting the bolts on and um, get this thing all back wired up, plugged up, and, and uh, put some gas in it, fire it up. So we've got our half inch, got our half inch here, and then we've got our Allen wrench. And let's just lock these things up. We're going to do the back here and then head to the front. And you might want to be careful. Stay away from the tank. This thing is solid. Looks like we are on. Alright, we're going to do the same with the front. Get that front piece locked on. Okay guys, we're stoked. Just putting the seat on. It's one screw. That's it, man. It's pretty rad. And then... Remember, we got this right here. It just kind of cups in and grabs. It, uh, it, 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 it cups around this little pocket right here. And then in the front, we got here, you just insert it right here under this part of the frame of the tank. And you're in, man. You're good to go. So we're going to put that on right now. Take this screw out. It's go time. So... I'm going to shove this under in, and then got to shove the seat forward and kind of bend it. And then it's like a plug, and then you're going to pull it back. And so you're good to go. Bike's on now. Screws on. Tank's on. Seat's on. Time to start hooking everything up and uh, get some gas in this bike and fire it up. Okay, you're going to see everything like I did before that I've taken off. I taped up just to prevent anything from getting in. So now it's time to start getting everything back together, getting these tapes off, getting these clips all back together, and getting this bike as a one piece. So here we go. All right, so we are about to plug in. I think it's known as the overflow. So right here. Here we go, this goes back in. And just fit it up, fit it up nice and firm all the way to the top, touching the tank. That's said and done. So you can see it there. 
just took the tape off here so now we are ready to go in here and basically you're gonna um, push that up and then it goes right in alright so we're gonna get this connected and see this little piece right here it's gonna fit in there just as a support and once that is we're good to go it's time to put gas in this bike and fill the tank up and rev this bitch so I'm pretty excited all right time to plug in our electrical here and it's up under right here so we're gonna plug them together I gotta use both hands I'll show you what it looks like when it's said and done and then that's gonna get tucked away behind here and this is gonna come over and it's also it's also got this plug that's gonna give it support up there so right here and so I'll show you that and when you go to remove this to take it apart you just kind of stick a screwdriver in the back and just pull on it it'll come out and just kind of take your time with it and uh, it comes out no problem alright I got this plug back together I'm gonna tuck it in behind here pop it like that so it's secured right there and then it's got that little uh, support system right here works great and then let's see wiring that goes in that's natural there make sure this right here make sure this thing's nice and tight it doesn't come out there's no fight or anything like that this is in we're good guys that's the job man we're gonna put gas in here and cross your fingers uh, let's hope this thing fires up okay thanks yeah guys pumps in tanks on seats on it's time to turn that key and cross our fingers that we hear that sweet little hum sound and fire this bike up hey guys we got gas in here fingers are crossed hopefully you can hear that little thing come on here hopefully that pump fires up so cross your fingers I'm turning the key right now Hear that magic? Sounds like we're good to go. All right, time to fire it up. Yeah, there you go, guys. Hope you're stoked. I hope this really, really helped. Um, some of you guys or all you guys who are watching and girls whoever I hope this helped everybody who's watching yeah your bikes back on the road because of this video thanks like I said I'm not captain bike mechanic um, I basically did this from the goodness of my heart because I, I struggled with doing this and so um, I had to watch X amount of videos and then kind of just wing it and that's why I just basically shared this from my heart with you guys and so if you're stoked i've got i'll leave uh in the link below you can go to my paypal if you want to donate but i'd rather you donate to yourself i've got epic products herbal products on my website islandspicehawaii.com um feel free to watch my show if you're into natural healing if you're into surfing spearfishing snowboarding or bow hunting because i have a show talk story with spice that has epic special guests and lots of things that I'll be teaching and educating you on in the field of natural healing as well as the other topics, surfing, spearfishing, snowboarding, and bow hunting because they are a huge part of my life. And you can follow me on Island Spice Hawaii on Instagram and Facebook and it'll let you know when new videos are coming up with my main show. So like I said, I did this strictly from my heart just to stoke some people out. And once again, I hope you're stoked. Yeah, and so, oh, I also have a clothing line, a logo wear line, as well as herbal products. So if you're not in herbal products, um, maybe your girl is. I've got beautiful oils, face masks, stuff like that. And then if you know people who have health problems, maybe you can direct them my way to my website, islandspicehawaii.com, or my show, because maybe that's uh, something they need, or you just know someone else who's interested in this. So thanks again. Happy riding that bike of yours. Be safe out there. Wear your helmet. And uh, just have a great day.